This is just a quick video to show you how we let the art work in tandem with the text and we don't always have to say exactly what the art is doing and it's better if we don't. Uh, so here in Olivia we have the two pages and the only text we have on here is Olivia gets dressed. She has to try on everything. Now, it doesn't say she had to try on her ballerina dress, her turtleneck sweater, her Converse shoes, her ski hat, her sunglasses and purse. No, no, that would be ridiculous. She tries on everything, and then we allow the illustrator to show that. We're showing and telling, but we're only telling the bare necessity. That's what's going to keep your word count down. And then... Let's see, there was another one they did this. This is one of my favorite books. Oh, okay, must be in the beginning. Okay, yes. <laughs> um, so she is very good at wearing people out. And then it shows her doing all kinds of things that wear people out and she even wears herself out. Okay, so that's one example of how the text is brief, the art is big, okay? Then we have uh, Mr. Tiger Goes Wild. And then in this book, there's so many things in this particular book, but uh, so many amazing things. I'm just gonna stay on topic here. We have, uh, and then one day, Mr. Tiger had a very wild idea. It doesn't tell us what the idea is. He's showing us what the idea is. And what is that idea? He's returning back to his true nature. And this is demonstrated by this picture. There is no text on this spread. And even when we turn the spread, it says, he felt better already. So this is the joy of a picture book. It's not meant to just be read aloud with no pictures. It works in tandem with the pictures. And so we see that here. And what I love the most is um, we see this here. And then Mr. Tiger goes on his journey. <laughs> Okay, but then, oh yeah, I guess. So then he, he went a little too far and here he is like completely quote unquote naked, right? And he's, he's living the, the wild tiger dream. Again, no text. It's just a picture. He went a little too far. How did he go too far? Well, he fully undressed. <laughs> um, but he's just a tiger, so that's good. But to the rest of the animals, not acceptable. And they said, if you must act wild, kindly go do so in the wilderness. And he did. So none of those pictures had text telling us exactly what he did. We are letting the art demonstrate what the um, author and illustrator are wanting, the um, what deduction we want made through the storytelling of the pictures. Okay, hope that is, is helpful. I'll just finish it here. So cute. And this is another page with no art, I mean with no text. He went completely wild. And here he is, Just we just have an, a minute to, to just rest and look at the art, because it is art. Then he goes, he goes back home, and he found that things were beginning to change. How are they beginning to change? Well, they're not telling us. Again, they're showing us how things began to change. And we can see here, um, all, while the animals still have clothes on, they are on all fours, whereas previously in the beginning of the book, everybody is standing up uh, bipedaling around. Okay. So hope that, hope that helps give some clarity as to how the art and the text work in tandem to 
create a great picture book.